All right, Zeno Squad, we're here with a new deck profile from Hunter. Took top place today at our locals event. Let's look at this King Vegeta deck you got. So today I played King Vegeta. Um, he's a pretty interesting leader. Uh, came out with a starter deck for set seven and uh, people have been doing some pretty interesting things with him uh, in the last couple of months and I picked him up uh, right when I started playing uh, first deck I ever bought uh, from Dragon Ball and I've had a lot of playtesting time with him so today we're going to be talking about my deck and then what I've done over the last month to it um, and showing you guys the flex spots and the good stuff so hopefully this helps you if you've been trying to make this good. So we have King Vegeta and what he does is um, basically self-awaken. Um, the conditions aren't life for this leader. It's your energy and one other thing, which is your field card. So uh, in this deck, no matter what, you'll always probably want to play four dynasty. I tried three in initial testing, but it's just not very good. Um, this card's great because it gives you a negate for one red. It has to be red, you can't pay green for it, any other color. Um, but it gives you a negate in niche situations. I've actually had this card, uh, this card has won me a couple of games and tournaments here at my locals. Um, and it's just really good because it puts out a two drop, any two drop for free, but it negates the skills for the turn and you get a draw two. And so drawing the two is really where this card shines and making your deck a lot better. Um, so first off we play uh, three Raditz. So we do the three Raditz because this card's just kind of good in a majority of your matchups, especially against blue. Um, if they ever untap their energy, you can um, send some energy to the drop, and that's just really good. And you also get to draw a card. Sometimes I'll play this uh, during my Awaken turn, which I always Awaken on turn three, because you have to have the three energy. Um, you can play this for one and then Awaken your King Vegeta and you'll untap an energy and you'll have drawn two cards instead of one, which is kind of cool. And it's also 5k combo power, so you really didn't lose anything there. More draw power, okay. And then uh, I play four of the Saiyan super combo because it's a battle card, even though it's your super combo, it has to be a Saiyan because of King Vegeta. Uh, this activates at four life, uh, pretty niche. The really cool thing you can do with it is you can search it off of the top five whenever you activate your leader's uh, main ability. Uh, then we play some U6 veggies. We play um, Cauliflaw here. Um, so she's really good is just a pressure tool. Um, on King Vegeta's Awakened side, you can play her for free out of your hand with her skills negated, so you actually don't have to take the life off of this card, which makes it really good. Awesome, good way to cancel out the text. Um, and it's a 20k body. Uh, vanilla 20ks that are two are just free value in this deck. Um, then what we do is we play the Vegeta and the Kaioken package. So we play all of these. So give you a good one. Um, the reason we play these is because they're just really good at extending your plays, uh, as well as you can play them for free off of Dynasty or King Vegeta. Like uh, a lot of the times you'll be inundated with these when you play this deck. And so you'll just want to either get one out for free using Dynasty or his ability to get pressure on your opponent. And then you can play the other one, which comes really in useful for one of the cards that I tech in this deck. Uh, these cards are pretty much the reason this deck is good, because along with your extra cards, you just put so much pressure on your opponent um, as far as maintaining their pressure on you goes. Um, then we play our flex spot so these are the cards that i usually sideboard out if i'm going to sideboard anything out of my sideboard um we play the new draft box trunks um we play this uh it's an extra first turn charge uh during a game if you're going first or second you can charge this first then you can get your brolies rolling um this is just a, it's really good overrealm. Like before I was playing these, because you can get more cards out of them. Um, Cause you draw two and then you pitch one. And so it's really good for extending your plays there. But this just extends way harder and way faster cause instead of overrealm four, it's overrealm three. And uh, I actually won a game because of this card. This 
really good. Um, Dropped a car to get the double strike in there? <clears throat> yeah. Heck yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, um, can't beat that. You really can't. Like, And with that Gohan, it looks like it's the promo Gohan you got there? Yeah, so this is a promo Gohan. Um, the reason he's in the deck is he's really just extra 10k combo power, as well as being able to potentially play this and have it be a real threat. So there's cards in here that will allow you to pitch big cards. Um, like a lot of the times you either want to get uh, a Broly or one of these or one of these into play um, earlier on and have it go to the drop. So then when you attack with this card, you get one from the drop by pitching a red card from hand. Um, and it gives you 20k attack power, which is like really strong. And it allows you to arrival these without having to pay one to combo, as well as well as having to either combo a red and a green card. And so it, it's really niche. I like it as a Tekka 2 because it gives you more options for charging as well as uh, for that first turn, as well as just it being, um, it's just a really clean card. Like, it does well. Mm -hmm. uh, this card is some real spice. Like, a lot of people don't see this coming when they play this deck. It's just so good. Like, uh, it wins you games. Because um, what happens is, is we already went over uh, the Mock Speed and the Kaioken, right? And the Vegeta the Cruel. So the reason we play all of those is so we can fuse these together and draw two after we attack with them. Uh, so then you're getting three attacks and you've drawn two for one because mm. you're not paying any energy for these cards. And if you are paying energy, it's to play them on your opponent's turn to then set this up. And this is just, it's a lot of pressure. And then combined with this and some of the other stuff we play in this deck, um, it allows you to extend farther than a lot of uh, aggro decks currently are. Um, set up in the format too, I guess. That's nice, yeah. yeah. More widespread for attacks. Yeah. Draw, you're making five interactions so out of two cards. We kind of brought these out here earlier, um, but this is... Five drop Gogeta's baby. It's just too good. Like, this card, it's, it's going to stay expensive and it should be. Um, I don't play four because I feel like it just... It, it's already cloggy enough at three. You'll find this card when you need it to, either off of this guy's skill. I, I find him in life a lot of the times. Um, you're drawing two off of King Vegeta's Dynasty, and you're drawing two every time you activate his main. You'll hit these, and when you do hit them, uh, this is how you finish games. You'll get off your Vegito with the, the blue Vegito, and you'll get off this. Uh, by comboing red green into the blue Vegeta and make it a 30k swing and then you'll get off that and then potentially be able to surprise him with an overwhelm too like there's just so many attacks in this deck that come out of nowhere for free like basically. that's nice a lot of double strikers yeah and your leader can get double strike like if oh you yeah just, on top you of can that actually <laughs> you can actually arrival this card attack with it then sack it give this double strike and draw a card Mm. So you're swinging with two 20k double strikes. Very techy, very techy. Um, then we got our Brolies. This is a must of card. This card's gonna just keep getting better. Like yeah, um, that and the blue yellow beers. Yeah, those cards are gonna be staples. Stay. Yeah, staples. Uh, don't ever really play it in this deck. Uh, there have been decks where I've actually played this card before, but this deck already does so much tempo control and. Uh, paste attacking that this card's just energy and you can fetch it off of his ability so premium charging there uh, another four of our vanilla 20ks this card's just great um, to add more to his ability you want to at least run 820k vanillas in the deck uh, it just so happens cauliflower is just better for one reason and I'll show you guys that later um, then we go on to the extra cards um, we play four after image, three denial, and two is that all you've got. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say about up. that. Spikes it's pretty life. much minus 10k, um, denies anything that's 20,000, and also drops a card from hand and minus 15k to two of the opponent's cards on your turn. It's nice, okay. It's so, a little board control, it looks like, too. 
Yeah, in my opinion, I would never really want more than this. Uh, you could put another Denial of Hope in here, but you have Vegeta the Cruel and Mock Speed to handle that problem. Um, this comes into play for people that like to set up really extravagant boards, like Chain Attack Trunks, into Zeno. Uh, that was one of the things I prevented today with it. Uh, you can prevent Bobbity in World Tournament. Prevented that today with this. Um, yeah, Denial's here to stay. And After Image is best red negate. If you're not playing After Image, you're doing it wrong. Um, then the last card for the deck, we got that Scramble. Scramble, so Scramble Spice. So you can fetch this off of the top five using his ability to guarantee you a win on turn five. Because more likely than not, you will have gotten so many free cards out because of his ability and drawn into extensions that I've showed you. Uh, to the point where by the time you get to turn five, you're always burning them to kill them with this card. Um, or you're not able to use it because you're at too low of a life after the grind. So. Heck yeah. Well, there you go, guys. King Vegeta right there. How did the locals win? Thank you for the deck profile. Sideboard if you want to check it out. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So...